Jaden, how special was that win over the weekend? Yeah, it was uh, it was really special. Um, you know, I guess throughout the week, you know, we had a lot of people, you know, I guess didn't believe in us. And, um, you know, one thing Wayne uh, drove throughout the week was uh, just our self-belief and, and all of us coming together and getting the job done. And, um, you know, I'm really happy and, you know, we're, we're all uh, glad that, that we were able to do it. Is, there, um, is this the most belief sort of in a squad that you've been a part of? It seems like everyone like is buying in and everyone believes that you can go all the way. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, I think, you know, I, again, it starts at, at training and, and what we do at training. But, um, you know, the last, I guess, uh, you know, month of footy, you know, by that Penrith game, um, you know, we'll, we've been playing really well. And, um, you know, even that game, we were, I guess, you know, on top of them for majority of the game and uh, kind of let that slip. But, um, yeah, you know, I guess last week I definitely gave us a lot of confidence and, um, and you know, that belief's, you know, right up there now. So, um, you know, I guess, you know, if we stay committed to the process, you know, we'll be surprised at, you know, what we can accomplish. And on a personal note, are you just trying to soak up every minute before the yeah. new chapter as well? Yeah, I kind of, um, you know, come to the realisation that, you know, it could be my last game um, and kind of taking that mindset, you know, to the last couple of games. And, you know, I felt like that's helped me a lot. I um, mean, you know, I've got some good mates here and um, some lifelong friends here. So, um, you know, it is coming to an end, but, um, you know, hopefully, you know, we can extend it a little bit longer. So that you maybe without that inspiration to continue it, to keep it going? Yeah, well, definitely. That's a, a, a factor. Um, it's a lot of motivation in, into, um, you know, trying to keep winning and, um, you know, staying here a little bit longer uh, with, with my brother. So uh, that's that's it. Just in terms of Bennett, um, he just seems to be so well-rounded with everything. I heard, heard him talk a bit in theatrics last week, um, in the, the, you know, lead up to the game with the band for Ivan Cleary. We just heard about Mark's speech, that he had a bit of um, input into that. Yeah, I think that's why, um, you know, he's so good at what he does is he's able to, you know, connect with, with players on a personal level and um, gets players playing with them, uh, playing for him. So, um, so that's, uh, um, you know, that's probably the main, the main reason why he's able to, you know, do what he does for so long. Um, as I said, you know, he gets players playing for him and, you um, yeah, that's that's what you need as as a coach. But it also doesn't always seem so serious. He's always got little. I mean, just there, he's got a little bit of laugh. laugh a yeah, he's always um always smiling and, and keeping the the vibe uh happy. So, um, that's one thing I admire about him is um he's never too never too serious. But you know when I guess he is serious, um just because of the respect he he demands is um everyone listens. So um you know I, I love coming to training and love seeing him around. You know he puts a smile on my face. So. Does he still train with the boys? I know sometimes he used to get out there and in the gym sometimes and even do, like, is he still? Yeah, he's, yeah. St he's still training. Um, he slowed down a bit on the field, but he's still in the gym and he tries his best. So um, he's still keeping up with us. Uh, good for Zoom. Thank you. Hey, Jaden, Zach Bailey here from NRL.com. Just with Wayne, uh, he took all the headlines in the lead up to last week's match. Do you think that helped take the pressure off? given it was all about him and Ivan Cleary and not about you guys taking on Penrith? Yeah, oh, I guess so. Um, you know, at the end of the day, we, we still got to run out there and, and play our game on the, on the field. But, um, you know, I, it would have uh, factored it a little bit. But, um, yeah, as I said, you know, we still had a job to do and uh, Penrith are a classy outfit and, um, you know, we're able to, you know, get the win and, and move on to the prelims. Alex Johnson said uh, Wayne shouldn't be taking any credit because he wasn't out on the field. I half agree with that. but. Um, yeah, look, you know, what, what, what he did uh, throughout the week for us is, you know, he, as I said, he gave us a lot of confidence and a lot of belief. And that's one thing he's really good at doing. Um, you know, he's helped my career uh, from the very start. So, you know, I, I can't speak high enough of him. And, um, yeah, as I said, I kind of do agree with AJ. He's getting a bit, uh, a bit too many reps at the moment. Fair enough. You, you speak about the belief and the motivation that he gives to you, you guys. What about someone like Blake Taff? How much does he inspire you guys, given his performance in his first final uh, over the weekend? Yeah, he was he was unreal. Um, throughout the whole week, he was very confident and in, um, in taking over a training. And uh, I think, you know, he gave us all all the belief that, um, you know, he could do the job and he could, uh, you know, fill the shoes that he had to. And we all seen it on the, on the weekend. Um, he kind of obviously, you know, he dropped that first ball, but, you know, from then on, um, you know, he was a real standout and he was probably one of our, uh, you know, top top three players. So, um, you know, he's not only has he given us confidence, but he's 
definitely done himself wonders in in, in that term of um, you know uh, believing in himself and uh, showing us what he can do. And you know he's getting a bit of a, a bit of an attitude now, and he's um, yeah killing it at training. So I uh, can't wait to see what he has next. Hey Jaden, sorry Scott Bailey from AP. I know the decision was made a few months ago, and now obviously to head down to the Dragons next year. But talk us through how hard that decision was to to leave South Mate, obviously after um, you know what they've done here last year. Yeah, um, oh, I was very hard. I, you know, kind of, um, you know, I got a, as I said, I got a lot of good mates at this club, and um, you know, I'm really passionate about this club, and uh, it was definitely a hard decision, but. I um, mean, you know, it was the decision I had to make and, you know, it was kind of where I thought I could, you know, take my um, my game to another level at, you know, at the Dragons. But um, just happy it's all over now. It's all sorted and, uh, you know, it got sorted at the right time of the year. And uh, now I can just kind of, you know, focus on, you know, what's ahead and I'm um, enjoying these last couple of games with the boys. Are you someone who thinks a lot about the fact that, I mean, well, there is only, really, it's good. There is only three weeks maximum to go at the club. Like, are you someone who thinks about that a lot and um, how much you're going to miss the guys? Or do you sort of put it to the back of your mind and try not to think about it at all, I guess, during these finals? Yeah, uh, you know, I've, I've tried to put it at the back of my mind and, you know, I kind of have, um, I kind of, I guess, you know, just enjoying, I guess, you know, I don't really enjoy training, but I'm enjoying training a little bit more now. And just, you know, I guess it is coming, I'm coming to the realisation that, um, you know, this could be my last game, you know, or the week after could be my last game. But, you know, it is coming to an end and just trying to soak it all up and, um, yeah, enjoy these, enjoy the little moments. G'day, Jaden. James Phelps here. Mate, uh, you haven't played a lot with Keon um, since the start of the year on the field together, but you two really combined well on the weekend and, you know, a bit of, bit of enforcers, almost the new Bash brothers. What, what's it like playing with him at the same time, mate? Um, yeah, no, it's good. Um you know he's he's done a lot this year, and he's uh, he's in uh, sensational form at the moment. You know he's probably a top three back row in our comp, and um, he definitely walks around like it now too. So um, you know I'm really proud of him too. He's probably my best mate here, and um, you know he's one I'm going to be sad to to say goodbye to. But um, yeah, I can't speak high enough of him, and you know I'm just happy that he's all the hard work. You know he's finally reaping the awards, and as he says to me, he's getting a lot more followers now on Instagram too. So. So who's the biggest enforcer, mate? You still got him, or is he uh, challenging your tag out there on the field? Oh, yeah, he's definitely challenging. Probably he's probably taking over at the moment now, but um, yeah, I'm glad he's he's getting uh um getting the recognition. You know, he deserves it. Thanks, mate. Hey, Jaden, it's Alicia from NRL.com. Um, can you just <coughs> tell me, uh, I guess, what you learnt most when you were dropped by Wayne earlier this year, like just on your own game and how you bounced back? Yeah. Um, I learned. I learned a lot, I guess. I guess I, I learned um, the importance of just, you know, staying in the game and, and staying focused. Um, sometimes, you know, as you would say, I had a few concentration lapses and, um, you know, that's all down to, down to myself and down to, you know, my little effort areas. And, um, you know, I'm just grateful that, uh, um, you know, I guess he did that and, um, you know, he got me, I guess, put me in the right direction for the right part of the season. And, you know, now... Um, and I guess I put that all behind me and you know, I'm able just to focus on, on this final series and this prelim coming up.